Hello, my name is Chris Betcher. Um, I'm just making this little video just to give you an insight into one of the things I've been doing lately to help me manage Twitter better. As you can see, I've got um, about 1,600 people that I'm following at the moment, and there's about 2,700 people that follow me. And when you first join Twitter and it's only like a handful of people, it's pretty easy to manage. But as it grows bigger, I think you have to be a bit selective about who you decide to follow back. So I have lots of people who follow me who I don't necessarily follow back and it's nothing personal it's just that I look at you know what they're talking about and how they're treating Twitter and just decide that it either works for me or it doesn't and so there are many people who I don't follow back I just want to show you how I make those decisions because it may help with your with what you're doing who knows so um so here we are looking at my Twitter page and you can see that so <laughs> oh the joy of live video you just never know what people are going to say um, so what what I've done here is if you look in my settings you can see here's the settings and I actually use a different email address I don't actually use my real email address I use this one from a service called Topify now if I just whiz over here to Topify you can see uh, it's just a service topify.com and what it does I will show you but all I simply did was sign up for a free account here at Topify. It will then generate an email address for me, which I then come back to Twitter and I pop here in the field here as my email. So I'm not using my email address, I'm using the one provided by Topify. Okay, what does that do? Let me show you. In my Gmail, I've just got a, a I've got a filter set up here in Gmail that automatically pulls out any Twitter request uh, for a follow and automatically puts it in this folder called Twitter request. So you can see here's, uh, here's a bunch of um, requests that I've been given and there's two direct messages here that um, I actually know what they're about because oops I uh, let me unselect them um, that one and that one I just get rid of because I know what they're about so I don't need to keep them right so here's a bunch of requests of people who have basically they've followed me on Twitter and through because I'm uh, subscribed to Topify, Topify then notifies me that these people have just followed me and gives me the option to follow back. And what I didn't used to like about the process was, I mean, if Twitter will normally just give you a message to say such and such is following you, but the process of then deciding whether you want to follow those people back is quite convoluted because you've got to go and you've got to see who they are and you've got to go to their page, you might look through their last few tweets, you read their bio, mm -hmm. decide if it's someone who you want to follow back. What Topify does is it takes all of that information and condenses it into one email. So, for example, this one here from someone called at Perviantica. Uh, so I click on that and you can see. So here is a summary of this person. So there's their photo, there's their name. Uh, they're following 83. They've got 43 followers. Uh, ratio of 1.9 to... What's that? Oh, yeah, okay, so ratio. That's, that's the number of... Um, following to followers uh, and um, they've done 40 tweets so obviously they're fairly new to Twitter this person is an educator they're in Jakarta which is always handy Jakarta you know I'm often looking for partners in Indonesian schools that may be an interesting contact and I just have a look down and see this talking about here on the effects of student learning well I'm interested in that um, I don't really know what that's about um, that's a little quote there I mean, this person's saying a few things I don't know that, that I'm necessarily that interested in, but they're new to Twitter, they are an educator, I'll probably follow them. All I have to do then is hit this little button that says follow. And it then goes over to the Topify thing and says, great, it's been followed, and I can just close that window. And that's done. Uh, I can now delete that message. Let's look at a couple of others. Um, let's try this one from Sarah Jane. So Sarah Jane, is, she updates four times a day, that's okay. I don't want to follow someone who's like 180 updates a day, and there are people who do that. 59% um, of what she does is conversation, which is good because she's engaging with the community. She's got 27% 27 of her tweets contain links, that's great, she's sharing stuff. She's a primary teacher, she's a mum, she lives in Vancouver Island, she's been on Twitter, um, well, just, gosh, what's that, two years? She's only following 331. She looks like someone who I might want to follow. She's got the same kind of interest for me uh, as me, and um, yeah, I'll follow her. So again, click the follow button, and done. Close that window, and now I can delete her message. Let's just pick someone like, say, this one. 
So this one here is uh, I plus page grounds, I plus page design. They're following 19,000 people and got 19,000 followers. So that suggests to me they're probably on an automatic follow back. So they're not being at all discretionary about who they follow and who, who they allow to follow back. 100% uh, links. So there's not a lot of conversation going on here. They're zero percent conversation. So in other words, they're not replying to anything. There's no at replies and they've got links and everything. Code spam. That's exactly what that means. They update 19 times a day and all they're trying to do here, look at what they're, they got mortgage frauds, Monday links. Yeah, look, this is all just crap to me. That's nothing in there that I'm interested in at all. So not a follow. I will actually delete that person like that not interested. Let's do one more. Let's try this one here. What's this? So this is a learn boost. Obviously it's a company rather than a person. Immediately I'm suspicious. Uh, they're following lots more than follow back. So obviously, uh, you know, they want to be followed because they're following lots of people, but they're not getting much response back. They've tweeted 120 times. It's the one place to read and share education content from the web. Personally, I'm not interested in engaging with a company that talks about what they do. I'm interested in engaging with people that talk about what they do. So that's probably not going to interest me. Not that some of these links don't look interesting. It's just I'm not particularly interested in the way this person packages their their persona on the web. So again, that one is a big delete from me and so on. So that's how I manage my Twitter feed. I really like Topify, the fact that it lets you uh, get this sort of one page insight into, uh, you know, so many details. Let's pick one here. You know, you can see how many times a day they update, how conversational they are and how many links they put in. I think that's really important and it gives you their bio and, and again, just lets you make an informed decision about whether you want to follow back or not. So there you go. That's a little bit of my strategy for Twitter.